Good afternoon team. I hope you guys are having a great week. I just wanted to make this short video to give you some tips today on social media. Um, I know social media is a big part of our business and a lot of times I get asked, well I don't know what to post or um, I'm, you know, I'm running out of things to think about or to talk about on social media. So I'm here today to give you some um, ideas and suggestions. But again, it all goes back to being consistent. You've got to be consistent out there so that you create followers. Um, and hitting your target market of people who are just like you. So first of all, I would tell you, come up with a list of three to five things that make you unique um, that are not beach body related. So like for me, I do not cook. Um, I love my wine. I'm a spin instructor and I teach twice a week. I'm a mom of two. I'm from New Orleans, which I think is very unique. Um, you know, anything, I love humor and football and sports. Um, you know, so anything that makes you unique to yourself, you wanna be posting about um, and talking about and mixing Beachbody and being uh, having that healthy lifestyle um, in there. Um, people love to see pictures of you though. Um, so I strongly encourage, even if you are camera shy, just do it, just get out there. It doesn't have to be a perfect picture. It doesn't matter. Um, you know, a lot of times you can do pictures, sweaty pics of yourself. You can do your Flex Fridays. You can show how many calories you burned on your heart rate monitor. Um, you know, talk about how you just had no energy today and your pick-me-up was your Shakeology. Show a picture of your Shakeology shaker cup with you drinking it or show your Shakeology cup with a recipe that you made that you loved. Um, there's all kinds of things you can do. If you're a cook, then, you know, share recipes. Share how you took a recipe and made it healthier. Share your meals and your pictures. People love to see pictures of food, I feel. Um, always, I'm always trying to get new ideas for snacks and, and different ways to meal plan. Um, you know, you can also um, talk, I love motivational quotes and humor, so a lot of stuff on my feed you'll find um, that I just like to lift people up with quotes and motivational things, um, tips and tricks um, to lead a healthier lifestyle of articles that I've found that I feel my, my audience would enjoy. Um, you know, but just um, make it about you. You're unique. You have a lot of unique qualities and you want to portray that out on social media too. Um, also, um, if you are posting images and things, put words on them. Um, and when you're typing things up um, to go with your posts, you know, think about who you're talking to. Talk as if you're talking to yourself when you're making these posts and make make them meaningful. Also, how do you get more engagement? I'm sure, like me, I get a lot of crickets, not many likes sometimes or comments. And um, a tip I heard today um, from Shalene Johnson, because I've been starting to listen to her podcast on social media. One thing that um, she suggested, which I'm trying out this week, is um, you have to ask people to like your stuff. You have to ask people to comment or ask for their opinions. Um, you know, pose a question to them. Um, one of the things um, you could do is, you know, post maybe a meal that you made and say something about, you know, do you make wraps like this? Or well, what's your favorite wrap? Or would you eat this? You know, click like if you would eat this or comment below what is your favorite ingredient that you put in your lunch wraps for the day. Um, get them, ask the question, ask them to like, ask them to comment, ask for their opinions and you will see your engagement go up. So that's another little tip that I learned today. Um, also, when you're sharing about the opportunity, you, know, you don't know, there's a lot of people out there using Beachbody programs that you may not even um, realize that they have programs. So you also need to um, talk about um, the different programs that you're doing or you have done um, and you know, reach out to people and ask questions like that. You know, if you're posting about the 21 day fix for the um, for the sale this month, ask, you know, who has this program already? What kind of results have you gotten? Um, you know, you may find with a post or if you post about whatever program you're doing now, if you're doing Insanity or whatever, um, you know, ask the question and say, who else is doing this program too? I would love some feedback. You know, my back is killing me from 
doing back and buys this month or this week, today, whatever, um, you know, or if you're doing um, yoga, you know, how much you love the stretching and what other yoga programs out there have you guys done? Um, so get people to start talking about your pictures and what you're posting. Um, it's all about sharing and inviting. It's not about asking people to come buy things from you. Um, it's about sharing your experiences and what you have um, experienced with Shakeology, with your programs, with your healthy lifestyle, with um, things that you're doing that are improving your life that you want to share with other people too. Um, also, if you don't have a success story yet, it's not a problem. You know, just share your journey. Um, you know, whether you're healthy and fit yet or not, if you're at your goal weight or not, it doesn't matter. People want to see that you're real and that you're genuine and that you're out there sharing with them both your successes and your struggles. I think that's what makes you um, very genuine and down to earth. And that's what makes people want to um, build trust with you and want to do business with you. And so really keep that in mind too. Um, and just one last thing that's really helped me is to plan. Um, if you're not planning a little bit ahead about what you want to say, especially if you're trying to be consistent and post three times a day, um, and again, you can use auto schedulers. There's all kinds of apps out there that you can auto post um, and plan things out. And I find planning my posts out really helped me to manage my days. I'm not tied to the social media. Um, like I used to be when I started the business. So, um, you know, take advantage of those auto scheduling, but take advantage of just thinking about maybe pick a day. This is what I usually do. I pick a day um, each week. So Wednesdays are typically my day to sit down and figure out what it is that I want to um, post for the following week and what I want to sort of talk about. Um, and then I kind of plan out what my posts are going to be for the week. And that way I have a good idea to be able to work around that. And um, so that's just another tip for you so that you're not scrambling and be like, oh, what am I gonna do today? But <clears throat> you know, sometimes those pictures that are just on the fly are great pictures too. So it's not all about planning all the time either. <coughs> Excuse me. So anyway, I hope those tips help you today. Um, if you don't know, I do follow all of your feeds. Um, so I know if you're posting or not and I know what you're posting. So um, if you're not posting consistently, get out there and just get started. Just do it. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be anything um, extraordinary. Just be you. Get out there. Share what you're doing. Um, if you want some feedback or some help, please ask. And um, always come to the team page, um, our Team Fit Commit page on Facebook and make sure that you are um, asking questions and sharing successes and tips that you have found um, because we're all in this together. We're all a team and we're all here to help each other. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye.